Tassapagavatu Arahatu Sama Sambuddhasa Namo Tassapagavatu Arahatu Sama Sambuddhasa Namo Tassapagavatu Arahatu Sama Sambuddhasa So this is a session for Q&A. Um, Let's just sit for a while first. To be too eager to ask questions. To be too eager for talking. Just to recognize how we are at this moment. Doing what you're doing, how you're feeling, just recognize. Whenever you notice, Remember, it's, it's just to see them as they are. Everything is just natural phenomena. So if you have questions, you can ask in this session. If you meet with any difficulties, any problems in your practice, you can bring it up. Or if you're unsure, if you're practicing well, you can also bring it up. So this is a time for discussion, right? So start, anyone can start. I'd like to hear from those who have never spoken before. These are the ones that are like the ones if you're, if this is a hall, there are those people who sit at the back and try to hide and so that I don't see them. <laughs> they don't turn on the video, they don't say anything. <laughs> they hide at the back. <laughs> Don't nobody say something, it's okay. It's all right, perfectly fine. We just sit here. Just remain doing what we're supposed to do, that is to practice. Just to be aware. Interested to know what is happening. We can learn from our experience. Okay, somebody.
uh, good afternoon, Bante. I, uh, just now, while doing the group practice, I felt very sleepy. Maybe it's a hot afternoon. So I uh, did some uh, walking. But the moment I sat down, I again felt uh, sleepy. So I, what I did, I did, uh, I use a, uh, I use a mantra, and uh, after a while, I can feel the uh, my mind is more settled, and I'm more alert. Is uh, this way the correct way of practice? Uh, you can use mantra. You can basically mantra. Just you can say Buddha, Buddha, or whatever. Um, in order to make the mind busier because when you're sleepy, your mind is it's the opposite of being uh, busy, isn't it? <laughs> so it's drowsing. But yeah, what you can also do is to actually ask questions. To stimulate the mind to pay attention. So, for example, you can ask, what's happening now? How am I feeling? You can use these questions to prompt the mind to pay attention. Yeah, so in this way, you get two things. Not only do you get to be more alert, awake, you are also exercising um, this. You're exercising your wisdom. wisdom. Wisdom energy is, one kind of wisdom energy is interest. Interest to know. Yeah, so uh, this will be better for you. It's two in one. Thank you, Bante. Mantra can be of various kinds. Um, mantra such as to, I mean, it's not so much as to the sound that you make, it's more of why you use it, why you say something. It could be Buddha, Buddha. It could be Om. Actually, Om is for some particular uh, purpose in the Indian kind of mantras, they accordingly they have special energy and special meanings to them. The Thai mantra is the usual Buddha Buddha, uh, which means uh, Buddha is Buddha actually, uh, it means awakened. So you can actually, if uh, you are using that with the meaning of being awakened, you are reminding yourself to. Be awake, wake up, wake up. <laughs> so that could be Buddha, Buddha. Stay awake. And actually, if you're just using mantra to wake yourself up, it could be anything. It can be Buddha, it could be, be Coca Cola, Coca Cola, Coca Cola. It's also mantra. I think. If you don't like Coca Cola, you can do Pepsi Cola, also can. <laughs> So whatever, it's just uh, words to make the mind busy, yeah? So uh, I, I would recommend uh, prompting questions. That would be even better. So you're exercising your wisdom. See, when you ask a question, what happens? The mind mm, is a little bit more interested. It becomes more interested. What happens when you ask a question? Yeah, then you can see the cause and effect of it. And then you can read and can then you can see oh this is how it works this is what it does uh, that's better other than just following my instruction but they how do I do I, I do this I do of course you need to do that um, but also to see what's the effect of it when you when you do this what happens when you do that what happens then you learn yeah you know, like if you if you if you're doing bowling and you bowl. You know, the first time when you bowl, almost certainly it goes into the drain. It's either the right drain or the left drain. <laughs> yeah. Then you learn, okay, this is too much to the right. Then you try a bit more to the left. Then it goes way, way to the other side, goes to the, the other drain. 
So you you learn along the way. So why why does it why does that happen? You angle your body this way, angle body, or maybe it's because of a hand or because what? So you try this and try that, and eventually something works. But when it works, don't be just happy. Okay, strike. If you're if you're happy with just that, eventually and you find that next time you do it, it doesn't work because you haven't learned. You just happen to hit. It has have been hit in the in the, at the right spot. What we want to know is when we do something, what happens? And do, do it this way, what happens? Do it that way, what happens? Then you're not just um, randomly practicing. You want to know what actually works, why it works. Maybe when you use something now it works, and tomorrow when you use the same thing doesn't work. So why? <laughs> what happened? Uh, often it has to do with not only what you do but why you do it. That changes the uh, quality of it entirely. Just like even using mantra. Use mantra in the wrong way, you can get very upset. I mantra for so long already, why the sleepiness still won't go away? <laughs> you can get very upset. Yeah. But if you're doing something just for the sake of knowing, then whether it changes or not, you're not too concerned about it. You're just interested in trying to create the right conditions. Yeah. If you're asking questions and you find the mind is a little bit more alert, but the drowsiness doesn't completely disappear yet, then be happy with it. Then you at least you know that works. Yeah, it's not complete yet, but it's moving in that direction. That's very good already. Yeah. Not just because it's moving in that direction, but you can see that it works. It when you do this, then happens. Then you not only become less sleepy, you understand how come this can happen. That is wisdom. You understand. Yeah, meditation is just about trying to manipulate your mind into some particular state. Of course, you wouldn't like to have a peaceful, calm, alert, composed state of mind. Of course, everybody likes that. Yeah, but just that alone is not meditation. Because we want to grow in wisdom. So you want to understand. Question. There is something else here. The right attitude is important because if you're already sleepy and you fight against it, you are losing energy. Yeah. You may, people may not be very conscious that they are, mm, I don't like this. You're losing energy all the time. Then you get worse. Now, the other thing that happened for you is that when you say this is just nature, you're applying right view. And right view is a quality of wisdom. And wisdom and sleepiness is opposite, you know. Sleepiness is a dosa energy. Wisdom is the opposite energy. So when you increase this, then this one, like I say, is like a seesaw. Yeah. When this one goes up, this one cannot stay up one. It has to come down. The other side has to come down. So, so when you, you increase wisdom, dosa energy has to go down. Yeah. When dosa energy goes up, the wisdom goes down too. It's like a seesaw. Yeah. I think uh, consistent mindfulness also play a part. Right? Yeah. Or otherwise, when you go to the toilet, you forget to meditate already. <laughs> Maybe some movement also might help uh, to, to yes, change definitely. the mind state. Uh. Mm. But that happened when you're not moving, you're sitting there, right? Uh, earlier I was sitting. Then oh, I when you're toileting, yeah, you expect right. it, then, then you have a problem. Yes. One need, we need to have lots and lots of experience to, to, and recognize these experiences, then the mind changes and it stops, it stops uh, demanding so much. 
Yeah, it has less demanding. Next expectation gets less and less and less. We just put in the right effort and that's it. So it's like when we, we want to help people, we, we, we truly want to help people. We give, we, we, we offer them things, we, um, we uh, give them help. The best way is not to expect anything back, right? Yeah, we, we just do with full generosity, we're not expecting anything. That's the best way. The same goes with the practice. You just do it sincerely, expect nothing. And that is the best way to practice. Thank you. Beth. All right. Yeah. Good experience. Oh, I think I did say something like, uh, is it, is it, is it, uh, is it helpful? Is it, does it bring you? Happiness by doing this. I vaguely, I, I recall telling you. There was about another this. question. There was another question. Same thing. Same thing. Oh? I mean, okay. I mean, same thing as in same thing. Same response. What you need to do. Okay. Ask yourself: Is this thing that you're doing at that moment? Is it helpful to you? Is it bring bring you peace or stress? Very simple question. It's not something moral. It's, it's nothing to do with morality. Does it bring, bring you peace or stress by doing this? But if I have the harmful intention, uh, if I ask myself that question, I'm harming myself, but I have the intention. So in a way, how can that question help? Because the intention is there. Is it peaceful or stressful? Stressful. So just stay there. Recognize okay. that it is stressful. Recognize that it is stressful. Just know that. No need to go into details. Just know that it is. So this knowing that it is, that's wisdom. The seeing opposite energy. The, uh, yeah, seeing things Recognizing the, uh, that this is stressful. Recognizing that it brings dukkha. Just that is enough. Nothing complicated. Okay. Not, not, not peaceful or stressful. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Bhante. They have a notebook. There's this guy who would, everything I say, he would note it down. You know, this big book that he finished writing all the things that I, I suggested to him. I looked at him and said, you actually read this after, after I say? So he never, he never reads it. <laughs> I finished the whole book, <laughs> never reads it. <laughs> but maybe it's helpful to him because when he writes down, he can remember it better. Yeah. So right now, even if, you're, if you don't read it. He again. Eddie, Eddie. Can you hear? Uh, Dante, this morning uh, you mentioned about Anapana Sati uh, is not suitable for certain people. Can you elaborate on Well, that? it's not to say it's not suitable for certain people, but it is uh, recommended for certain people. The Buddha uh, didn't uh, recommend it for everybody. Uh, why is it so? Because it has a certain uh, result. It just has a certain effect. Um, if, you, if you recommend this to somebody who doesn't need it, he needs somebody, something else, then, then that's not good teaching. <laughs> you know, telling people to do something that's not helpful. You know, so the Buddha goes according to individual. Uh, and even when it comes to individual, it depends on that person's uh, condition at that time. What suits a person at a certain time uh, may not suit that person at a later time. Even when it comes to this practice of Satipatthana, it has a grad 
as a uh, you need to graduate from uh, grosser things to more subtle things. You don't know, you don't practice the same way all the time. Yeah, I think I yeah told somebody don't stay in the don't stay in kindergarten. You need to move. You need to be able to uh, see what's suitable for you at the moment and be able to go according to what's best for you. So when it comes to Anabhanasati, it's, it's the best thing for people who think and think and think, who loves thinking, loves to analyze, and, and they tend to get very, very caught up in their thoughts because they just love thinking. Yeah. So, and these people tend to be anxious as well. So the body tends to be uh, tightened. So when you do Anabhanasati, it helps you. I mean, I'm talking about a Sutta kind of Anabhanasati. I'm not talking about concentration. So when it comes to Sutta kind of Anabhanasati, it, uh, it brings about relaxation of the body. And with that, the mind becomes composed. So when the mind is composed, when the body is relaxed, naturally you don't think so much. Mind quietens. Eddie, I suggest that you don't um, try to have too much knowledge, too much theory. I believe you read a lot. Uh, yes. I... <laughs> so um, pay more attention to reading yourself. Uh, yes, but they... uh, Less into theories. Uh, we can be too... We can love our theories too much. <laughs> yeah. Focus more on reading yourself, Re reading this book, yourself as the book. Yeah, the most important book to read. All those books in the world, uh, all those talks that you listen to, they're only useful if it can help you to understand yourself better. You're making note of this as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, okay for the rest of this retreat I suggest that you stop writing unless it is something that you, you it's so important for you that you're afraid that you might forget it then you write it down yeah yeah we are recording this yeah the talks you can actually revisit it later on so try to take this opportunity to read this thing that you call you. This is more important. Yeah, all that theory is, is useless to you unless you can make use of them to understand you. The best way to learn is to actually watch and actually practice it. It's just like riding a bicycle. You can have all sorts of theories about riding a bicycle. If you haven't got on the right bicycle, you, you don't really don't know how to do it. Yeah. You can sit on the bicycle and you can theorize about, you have to do it this way and that way. The actual thing, the actual thing that you need to do is still to actually do it. And that's how you really, really know how to ride a bicycle. Like that, that this is important. Don't be so attached to your, Ideas, Learn, be willing to let them go so that you have the mental space to observe what's true. Otherwise, your mind is too crowded with theories. That is actually uh, detrimental to your practice. Okay, I'm glad that you're not making note of this. <laughs> okay, Abhi. Uh, can you hear me okay, Bhante? Yeah. Okay. So yes, uh, just on this, uh, sometimes I wonder, uh, most of my practice has been, you know, Satipatthana based, uh, more, you know, uh, this open awareness, and I love this practice. And also I feel I'm typically the intellectual kind with a little bit of objective mind, but also sometimes I think a lot, especially in last two years, I think a lot. So sometimes I wonder, uh, what is more beneficial for me? Um, 
you know, doing this open awareness, Satipatthana, something I love, and even intellectually, I find Satipatthana so complete. Uh, but also that means I get lost a lot in thinking and I don't use any anchor. And uh, sometimes I almost try to verify what I read about. Oh, let me see if I can see arising and passing away, etc., etc. Would I be better off to potentially use Anapana in the Sutta style? Okay. <clears throat> if it's working for you, just continue. No need to change anything. If it's working for you, there's no need to change anything. There's some kind of uh, chanting in the background. Yes, uh, I'm uh, at a meditation center in uh, Thailand. Uh, okay, okay. No. No wonder it sounds like chanting. <laughs> so, um, if it's working for you, whatever, in the way that you're practicing, just continue. If it something happens, uh, makes it difficult for you to practice, then then you do something. Yeah. Otherwise, the default the thing to practice is Satipatthana. You, know, you don't have to do anything else unless there's a need for that. Okay. Uh, Main thing, Mante, is... Uh, and the other thing is about thinking, 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 thinking. You have to really ask yourself, is that necessary? Sometimes the mind really loves thinking about certain things. You ask yourself, is this necessary? That is, that is meditation too. Ask yourself, is it necessary? You can think 10,000 things and eventually at, at the end, you, you wonder how many of those things are actually necessary. Um, okay. Okay, thank you. Monday, oh. there is a question. Okay. Monday, when meditating, I feel sleepy. Is it okay I just allow myself to sleep instead of for forcing myself to stay awake? Never force yourself to stay awake. That... Definitely is not useful. Uh, forcing means that there is some kind of defilement. You dislike the sleepiness. You're trying to control the situation. That's all wrong attitude based on wrong ideas of the practice. You're sleeping. You have to accept that you are sleepy at that moment. It is happening. Right? Firstly, is to accept that it's there. Don't blame yourself for it. Don't, don't say, oh, I shouldn't be sleepy and all that. No, no, that's just wrong ideas. Sleepiness is just sleepiness. You have, this, this is more important. Rather, to have the right view and right attitude is more important. This one must come first. Right. Only when that is established, then you can decide for yourself whether or not it is better to go to sleep. Before that, when you don't have the right view, don't have the right attitude, it's whatever you decide is based on defilements. Whether that what feels good or not, whether it, it is um, it goes not according to wisdom. Yeah, you need to make sure that wisdom, some level of wisdom is in place first. Then you can decide for yourself. I, I, I will not, I cannot decide for you. You have to decide for yourself according to your situation. So, but I want to remind you, you to make sure that right view is there, right attitude is there. Right? Sleepiness is an energy, it's not yours, it's okay, no problem. Don't try to get rid of it. Then, even though sleepiness is there, the mind is okay about it. It is at peace with the sleepiness. And only when it's at peace with the sleepiness, then wisdom can work and think, okay, what's the best thing to do? in that situation. Sometimes it could be the going to sleep is the best thing to do. And sometimes that is the, not the best thing to do. So you have to decide for yourself. You have, you have to learn. Uh, you have to observe and see what's best. I, I, I'm not the best person to tell you. More questions? <clears throat> 